JP just announced the information for the equips in part 1 of the Overlord crossover. There's a total of 7 equips, 6 being summonable, and one of which is farmable. For the first equip, it's a 5 star physical called 3F. It has a 45 second countdown, and it does 10,000 dark damage physical. And for 10 seconds, it increases all stats by 25%, and if a dark unit is using it, they get 25% attack up. Not really good at all, it has an okay stats up but with a pretty negligible attack buff. On top of it, it has a 45 second countdown, so there's pretty much no situations where you want to use this compared to pretty much any other equip. The second equip is a 5 star defense called Hermes Trismiscus. For 20 seconds, all allies get 25% damage resist, and for the first 3 uses, it has an additional 25% physical resist, with a countdown of 35 seconds. This equip is actually really strong, because not only does it provide 25% damage resist for all allies for 20 seconds, but the first 3 times have an extra 25% physical resist, meaning it's a total of 50% damage resist for the entire team from a single equip. It makes sense why they had to limit the number of uses of it, otherwise it would have been straight up broken. But with how good this is, it's definitely going to be seeing use in really hard pieces of content that need physical resist. If you were to use this on all Beto at her best, she would be giving the entire team 160% damage resist, almost enough to survive Ganon's final nuke without even having a tank. For Albedo's other equip, it's a 4 star defense called Albedo's Close. With a 40 second countdown, its effect increases all allies crit damage resist by 30% for 15 seconds. Definitely not a terrible equip, not as broken as the other defense equip, but it could see some use. The 40 second countdown and the fact it's tied to crit kinda hurts it a bit, and you'd probably be better off using something free like Siegel anyways. The next equip is the 5 star magic called the Dropper Transformer. With a 55 second countdown, it does 7700 light damage magic, and for 10 seconds it increases your own crit rate by 100%, and if your health is higher than 80% for 10 seconds it increases your own crit damage by 60%. Not a terrible equip, it's able to provide 100% crit albeit with a 55 second countdown, and the 60% crit damage when above 80% health is pretty sizable. It meshes well with Shaltier's kit pretty good, allowing her to have crit if she's below 70% HP and giving her crit damage if she happens to have more health. For Shaltier's next equip, it's a 5 star magic called the Shaltier's Umbrella. It has a 50 second countdown and does 7000 light damage magic, and for 12 seconds, it increases your own magic damage by 50% and it reduces the enemy's light resist by 30%, and it's also stackable as well. By itself, it's a fairly okay equip, giving some nice damage buffs and resist down, but what makes it really solid is that it can stack. Obviously, with an uptime of 12 seconds, you can't get high enough equip CT to get it before 12 seconds, even if you have Star God Lisa. They're basically hinting that you should buy two of these, and with Shaltier having two magic slots, it would fit her incredibly well. Having two of these on her would give her 100% magic damage up on top of her 200% crit damage, as well as lowering the enemy's light resist by 60% or 100% if you use her arts. And even crazier, if you have her mimic active, you now have two units that are benefiting from all of these buffs. At this point I'm kinda worried about how much damage she's gonna be doing, because it seems like she has everything to be an overpowered, independent magic damager, and with these equips on her, she's most likely gonna outperform Fire Orvo in terms of damage without any help. For the last banner equip, it's a 4 star physical called Shaltier's Close. It has a 45 second countdown and does 4000 light damage physical. For 10 seconds, it increases your own attack by 30%, and if the user is light for 10 seconds, they increase their own accuracy by 20%. Pretty mediocre, nothing strong, but then again, 4 star physicals are almost never done justice anyways. For the only farmable equip, it's called a wooden stick. It has a 50 second countdown and does 5000 dark damage magic. For 10 seconds it increases your own magic damage by 50%, and if the user is a demon, they increase their own equip CT recovery by 30%. It also has a passive 5% light resist. Not terrible for a free equip, it has a pretty decent 50% magic damage up, and the extra 30% equip CT is really good as well to help boost your equip rotations. Overall, there are some pretty solid equips on the banner, with the best being Hermes Trismiscus, just for the fact that it gives the entire team 50% damage resist 3 times, which is absolutely insane. A close runner-up is Shaltier's Umbrella, since it provides a hefty amount of damage up and res down, 
although it's going to really shine when it's able to be stacked. It seems like that's the rest of the information for part 1. I'll be sure to keep a lookout for whenever they decide to release part 2's information in a couple of weeks probably. Thanks for watching.